Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. All right, Thursday morning, it is a gloriously sunny day. It's 79 degrees and sunny. Not all that humid, but it has the potential to get a lot warmer and more stuffy out. Uh, I've got a shit ton to do today. And first things first is that I'm gonna go have breakfast because I just don't feel like eating anything at home. And I have to go out and do so many things. It's just gonna be on the way. So I'm gonna go to breakfast. I gotta go back to the Navy Exchange because I need to buy a shit ton of pots for the alien baby making monsters that are in my place. Because there's so many little babies that I have to I have to get those cut off. And some of the bigger plants now need to be split into two and I need to repot those. So I need to at least go get all the supplies. I don't know that I'm gonna do all that today because there's so much to do, but I am gonna do that. Then, of course, there's this. It's the Lens Baby. And this is the Lens Baby Velvet 56 millimeter f1.6. It's also a macro lens. It is manual focus, but it should be pretty cool. I just got it yesterday when I went and picked up the packages. And then I decided that today I was gonna go around and do some shooting with it. Since I'm gonna be over that direction, I'm going to go to Red Wing Park into the Miyazaki Gardens, and I'm gonna see if I can't take some cool pictures with this thing. Let's just go do that, because I'm pretty freaking hungry. All right, kids, so I had a slight change of plans because the timing just didn't work out. So I went to the exchange and I bought a bunch of pots and they didn't have really any decent potting soil other than in little itty bitty bags and I wasn't going to buy like 20 of those so I ended up leaving there I went to North End Bag Company and I got my wife a present for something that she wanted but didn't want to buy herself so I decided that I would give her a gift today so I went and bought that stopped at three ships and then I went to Taylor's building supplies or hardware whatever the hell they call it and I bought a giant gigantic bag of potting soil. So I will do that over the next several days because I'm off for a four day weekend and it's not always gonna be nice out. So that gives me something to do in the garage. So I never came here and here being the Miyazaki Garden at Red Wing Park. So I just got here and I, you know, I've had my lunch and everything and now I've got the uh, R3 with the lens baby on it and I'm going to go through here and see if I can take some cool pictures. We're going to walk through here and we're going to we're going to take some pics. It's a really nice breeze out. Albeit kind of warm because it's not without some humidity, of course. I mean, it is June 30th, but again, it's pretty nice. Not that you haven't seen this before, but let's walk back through the Miyazaki Garden. feel like you're going back into feudal Japan. All right, so I don't want to do it. You all should know how much I loathe shopping for clothes, but I kind of don't have a choice because I need to get this taken care of. So I might as well do it now when it makes sense for where I am and where I need to go. Gonna go to the mall and I'm gonna not leave until I find a freaking shirt for work, period. Regardless of how much it costs or which store I gotta go to or how many I gotta go to, if there's a God, I'll go into Express for Men and they'll have exactly what I need and I can get in and out of there and be like a, a 10 minute trip. Hopefully the next little clip will be me smiling saying, huh, found a shirt in two minutes and, and it was like 10 bucks. Fat chance, right? Uh, have I mentioned how much I freaking loathe shopping for clothes? Okay, I know I said that I was gonna go in the mall and I was going to come out of there with a shirt, and I didn't care how expensive it was. Well, cost was not the issue. I went to Express for Men, where I had originally intended to go, and every damn department store in that mall, and scoured the entire men's section looking for a freaking black dress shirt with a damn pocket on it, and I couldn't find one. 
Not a one. So it doesn't matter how expensive it was. Christ, at that point, I would have paid $200 for one just to get the hell out of the mall. But they didn't have one. So I left, and I decided that I was going to go to yet another Target to try to find our shampoo. But on the way over, it, it's like a shittier mall that's not going to be a mall because the person that owned it is going to sell it and they're going to turn it into like apartments <laughs> so pretty much everything else in there was closed except for Kohl's now we stopped shopping at Kohl's years ago because they suck I'm not shitting you I walked the entire store before I even found a spot that had dress shirts and it was literally like three racks in a far corner like they didn't have shit so no wonder they're closing so no shirt there so I drove around to the other side of the strip mall and I went to the Target and they did in fact have our shampoo. So I bought two freaking of the largest size that I could find. The amount of money that I spent on gas driving to three other Targets that didn't have it cost more than it cost me to get the, the you know, buying two bottles of it instead of just buying one because I only needed one. Yeah, screw that. So I got two bottles of the shampoo. So at least I accomplished that mission. Then on the way back from there, I was passing the 5-Eleven store and I thought, you know what? I know they have black shirts and I know they all have pockets because it's tactical. So I went in there and I got a damn shirt. So that's pretty much it. That's all you're getting because that's all I feel like doing because i grumpy because I pissed away over two hours shopping for a damn shirt. So that's all you get for today, like I said. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.